Hey, what's up guys? Duct here, and today we're back on iPixel Skyblog. Today I'm going to be going over how to complete the Romero and Juliet quest. Hope you all really enjoy this. If you do, consider liking it. It helps me out a lot, and let's jump right in. First of all, you have to go to the park, the new area that they added here where we are at right now. To get here, you need to go through the same portal you went to the floating islands before, so it's not that complicated. Then you need to go left here, or right, it really doesn't matter, and you're going to go to this little slime jump thing, and bam, you're going to go up here. Basically going to follow these slime jumps all the way to the back of the island here. So then you find the jungle area, and you're going to go all the way to the very back right of the jungle area. And up here you'll find Juliet and Romero. Originally you're going to just see Juliet here, and you're going to be clicking on her. You go this way away from Juliet, you follow this way down, and you see this little hut here. Which is going to have this NPC, the Master Tactician Funk. You're going to go all the way back here, and you're going to jump down down here. You're then going to find Romero, who's going to be right here. When you click on him, he's going to want gold nuggets, which you're going to find from the gold caves up above here. If we go straight up, you just come up here. And then since I've asked for it to the end, I'll just go ahead and teleport up. So then you're going to come right here and there will be a gold cave. If you have a pickaxe, you're going to mine this up. You're going to get gold, but you're also going to get golden nuggets if you have clicked on Romero. I'm only going to get gold because I've already completed the quest. You're then going to run the golden nuggets back, right down here to Romero, and he's going to give you a little gift. So little gift he's going to tell you to take back to Juliet, which you're going to jump back up, and immediately go to the back of the jungle area where Juliet is. Juliet doesn't move throughout the entire thing, but Romero will move every single time you upgrade your talisman you're going to get, which eventually turns into the legendary ring of love. You then right click Juliet with whatever item you're getting, and you'll be upgrading and receiving your talisman from the quest. After that, Juliet's going to tell you to go find him again, which he's going to be at the flower house in the hub. So all you have to do is warp to your island, then warp to the hub, then turn around, which the flower house is immediately right here. You'll see Romero around here. He wants 16 roses. He's going to ask He's going to ask you to bring him 16 roses because he wants to make her a bouquet. You can do this by just breaking up these roses right here. They're actually poppies, but basically you need 16 of these, so you might have to wait a little bit. Um, but it shouldn't take you a super long time to get 16 of them. Although he won't show up here for me because I've already completed the quest. After that, you return back to Juliet and then move on to the next step. After you give Juliet the gift that Romero makes her, you move on to the third part of the quest. This time he's going to be at the Emerald Altar. To get to the Emerald Altar from the hub, you're going to go this way. It's not that hard to find. It's going to be in the graveyard past the tavern right here. And it's going to be straight this way a little bit. And right here, this is where you'll find the Emerald Altar. Romero will be right here, and he's going to ask you to bring him 64 emeralds. You might want to get these emeralds before. Really, the only way to get these is if you have an emerald minion down, or if you just go to the deep caverns and mine up 64 emeralds. After you give him the 64 emeralds, he's going to give you a gift, which you take back to Juliet. The next location for Romero is going to be in the Blazing Fortress. To get to the Blazing Fortress, you're first going to want to go to the Spider's Den, which you can get to through the graveyard here, which we were just at for the Emerald Altar. After you get to the spider's den, you're going to want to head right. Over to the right hand side here, you'll find a staircase, which you're going to want to go up. And you're going to want to keep following the staircase for a little while, which will eventually lead you to this part where you see the travel to the Blazing Fortress. Once you're in the Blazing Fortress, you go forward. Generally, the easiest way is going to be to go up these steps as well, rather than the smaller ones. You're then going to jump down. There's going to be some wither skeletons here. But then in this little area right here, there's going to be Romero. This time he's going to ask for an enchanted mushroom block. You are going to need mushroom collection 8 to actually craft this. So you either need to purchase one on auction or have the recipe or have a friend that has a recipe to craft this. Each red mushroom block takes 9 red mushrooms. So if you're going to buy this from the shop, it is going to be slightly expensive. But it is the most expensive item at this point, but it's definitely not the most expensive item that you're going to have to give. After you give Juliet that gift, you're going to be told that Romero is taking pictures of the old castle. To get there, you're going to come from spawn. You're going to go to the right here and go up this mountain there's going to be this hill and you just go traverse all the way to the top which i'm going to skip because just for time's sake once you're at the top you're going to find the scaffolding here and romero will be right around here this time romero is going to want a rabbit six potion and this rabbit six potion he's going to want with coffee brewed into it what this means is you're going to want to jump down the mountain and go to the tavern over here now once you're here at the bartender you see that there's cheap coffee there also is decent coffee. I went ahead and purchased decent coffee for mine. I haven't tested cheap coffee. You may want to test that. Um, it, you won't save that much money, but if you do want to save money, then you might be able to use the cheap coffee. 
At the brewing stand, you're going to put your decent coffee in. You're then going to need to get an enchanted rabbit's foot. Now keep in mind you are going to need the rabbit potion recipe from Raw Rabbit 3. To make the rabbit 6 potion, you're first going to need to make a rabbit 3 potion, which is just going to take the coffee, not the awkward potion here, and an enchanted rabbit's foot, which you need 2.5 stacks of rabbit's foot for that, which you can purchase from the alchemist shop at spawn. You then throw the enchanted rabbit's foot into the coffee, this will give you a rabbit 3 potion. To make it into a rabbit 6, you're then going to have to put an enchanted glowstone block in. Then you'll have 3 rabbit 6 potions. Now, obviously, you could give two of these to your friends so that they don't have to brew their own potions, and they might be willing to pay you for the cost of the enchanted glowstone. Anyways, after you have the potion, then you can go give that to Romero, and you'll be moving on to the next step. The next place you're going to find Romero is in the gold mine, which from spawn you're just going to run straight through the coal mine. Most of y'all probably already know how to get here, which you're just going to run straight from the coal mine. After you're in the gold mine, you're going to run straight down into the brunt of things and turn left. After you turn left, you're going to jump all the way down, and you'll find Romero right here. Here, Romero's going to ask for some fuel. Essentially, what he wants is an enchanted lava bucket. Craft an enchanted lava bucket, you're going to need coal 8 collection, and it takes two enchanted blocks of coal, so you can either purchase this from an NPC at spawn, or you can use minions to get the materials, or you can purchase one on the auction house. Generally, they go between 200 and 400k. After the gold mine part, you're then going to be told to find Romero's house. To find Romero's house, you go to the hub. You're then going to head left past the bank and towards the forest over here. Once you're starting to get in the forest, you'll see the lake disappear on the left, and you'll see this big tree right here. You're going to want to go to the top of this tree. Obviously, you can actually climb the stairs, but I took the fast way up. And essentially, towards the top of this very tree, you're going to see this emerald house here, and this is going to be where Romero is. He's going to be standing right here. Now here Romero is going to ask you to try to solve a Rubik's Cube. To solve this Rubik's Cube, you're going to need 1292 base mana. Now I ended up actually needing 1392 mana. I don't know why necessarily, but possibly because of how mana is calculated. Like I have a base of 100, so it's like I have 1292 over that or what, but I needed 1392. Now the way to get this is to have crystal armor, which is fully wise reforged. On top of that, you're going to need decent alchemy and enchanting levels, somewhere around the 17 to 20 range generally. And also if you do the harp from the new update, that will help as well. Lastly, to push you over the edge, you may have to reforge some of your epic and rare talismans to demonic to push you over the edge in terms of your mana. Now since you're wearing crystallized armor, you're going to need to get the maximum light, which you don't have when you're standing right here. You're actually going to have to stand right next to this torch and be jumping and do it multiple times until you get really lucky and have your maximum 100% light so that you have the max mana. Or you could just go really over, which I wouldn't suggest, so just jump next to the light until you get lucky. After you give Juliet that gift, he's next going to be at the Coliseum. You go inside the Coliseum, you're going to head left, and immediately there's this room here, which you're going to find Romero in standing right here. Here he's going to ask you for his favorite weapon. His favorite weapon is an Emerald Blade. Now an Emerald Blade is from Emerald 8 collection, and it takes two enchanted emerald blocks to craft, which is a little bit expensive, let's say that. Also right now the price on the auction house is really high as the update just came out and a bunch of people need enchanted emerald blocks or an emerald blade for this event because guess what? Yeah, Romero takes the emerald blade so you don't get to keep it. After you do the emerald blade one, you're then going to have to go to the mushroom desert which you go to from the barn which you're just going to head right from spawn immediately and you're going to get the warp to the barn. After the warp to the barn, you then just head this way straight up and into the Mushroom Desert. Once at the Mushroom Desert, you just head directly straight back, and you'll be looking for the smallest house on the planet, which is basically literally a 2 by one with a bed in it, and Romero's going to be right here. Here he's going to ask you for a flower minion, and yes, it must be a tier 1 flower minion. The only way to get this is either going to be through trading or through the dark auction. Then if you return to the spot with Juliet, Romero will be there, and they'll be pretty much preparing for their wedding. To get the final talisman from Epic to Legendary, you're going to have to wear a suit. To get a suit, you're going to go to the hub, you're going to turn left, and you're going to immediately run into this house with Taylor, and down below, you're going to find Seymour. Seymour here is selling some fancy clothes. He has a cheap tuxedo for 3 million coins, fancy tuxedo for 20 million, and elegant for 75 million. You only need the 3 million one to go to the wedding and get the legendary talisman. Now the thing is, I would advise borrowing one of these suits, because if you actually want to purchase it, well, could buy 3 million coins. You really only need it for this event, and besides that, the 3 million coin one has a max health of 75 hearts, which, frankly put, you're going to get one shot by almost everything in the game. Yeah, you're going to have 
okay crit damage and increased damage, but if you get one shot, who cares? So <laughs> even the elegant one with 250 max health is still pretty low and will probably be one shot by most things, especially with no increased defense with the armor. Anyways, after after you've acquired your suit, you then go to the back of the park where Juliet has been the whole time, and Romero will be waiting there with her. They're both going to be all dressed up like so, and you're going to click on them, and there will be a couple chat lines, and your talisman will upgrade to Legendary. After that, you've completed the Romero and Juliet quest. I know this is one of the hardest quests in the game, so I really hope this video helps you all complete it. If it did, consider liking it, it helps promote the video, and helps me out a lot. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing for more content here on my channel. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.